Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the Gilmore Car Museum up in Hickory Corners, Michigan, and what a cool place. If you've not been there, you've got to go visit it. It's more than a car museum. It's 90 acres of just cool. Manicured grass, they have concerts, they got, I got a bunch of videos coming from there, but today's video is they had this display of Corvettes. And in the display of Corvettes, they had this working chassis. Very cool. Everything on it works and it's all cut away. I think y'all are going to enjoy it. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. The Gilmore Car Museum in Hickory Corners, Michigan, a place you want to visit for sure. A lot of these exhibits rotate, so they're not always the same. When I happen to be visiting there in July of 2021, they had this Corvette exhibit there. Thought I'd give you a uh, quick look around. They had uh, all generations of Corvettes, historical Corvettes, bunch of cool Corvettes, that's for sure. And the whole place, very cool. The Gilmore Car Museum is a place, like I said, you want to visit it. Trust me when I tell you, you'll have a good time. But what amazed me, mesmerized me the most about it was this chassis cutaway from 1965. One of three known to exist. GM built them for the auto uh, show circuit to show how the suspension and transmission and the 327 worked and all that kind of stuff. And then they donated them to Central Michigan University. And then Central Michigan University donated them to Mount Pleasant, Pleasant, Mount Pleasant High School. And um, some father was taking his kid on a freshman tour and saw it collecting dust and had it refurbished. And now it tours around. And right now, now it's at the Gilmore Car Museum in Hickory Corners, Michigan. But man, I could just watch this thing forever. The noise, just the clickety clack of everything and all the gears turning and the detail of it was just amazing. I don't know, I guess I'm a simple person, but the transmission, all the gears in the transmission were turning. How cool is that? One of many cool things there at the Gilmore Car Museum. Check it out, 90 acres of manicured lawn, they have concerts, they have a Cadillac dealership in there, Look at the lifters and all working. It's just way cool. They have a Ford dealership. They have a Lincoln dealership. They have red barns full of all kinds of stuff from pedal cars to just follow the channel. Scotty DTV, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell so that you get notifications. And yeah, I've got a lot of videos coming from there. And I hope to get to go back sometime because one visit was just not enough. It's one of those places that takes some time to soak in, but then it also has this total relaxation vibe to it. So once you get there, you're really not in any kind of hurry to leave. You just kind of enjoy the whole experience. At least I did. Flamingo and I, we got to hang out. Flamingo was back for a few days. Big shout out to Barry. Thank you, brother. And this thing just absolutely amazed me. Because you know I don't know anything but cool. I don't claim to know anything but cool. And when I see a cutaway, something that I can understand, I can actually see it working and see how all this stuff puts power to the ground. I like it. Gives me an aha moment, as they say. And I wanted to shoot it from every possible angle as I could because everything, virtually everything moves and works on it. Even the distributor cap, that just absolutely blew my mind. That thing was turning and actually working. Down to the exhaust pipe, so cool. The Gilmore Car Museum in Hickory Corners, Michigan. Check them out, check them out on Facebook, check out their schedule, go see a concert, go visit the place. 
It's just absolutely a fun time. I guarantee you, you're gonna enjoy it. Hope y'all have enjoyed the video. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.